I think the biggest thing with MRC is the resiliency. You see this team now, their ability to come back um, from one, two goals to maintain a three goal lead. I mean, that was one of the big things they always talked about. And we actually had Matt Martin on our radio show, and he said that was the biggest thing they were focused on was closing out games. And I mean, listen, if they can continue to score over three goals a game, they'll be in good shape. Johnny's been good in the first half. I think everyone expected him to be better. And I think the second half for him, I, I had actually tweeted out after the All Star game, it's, just, uh, it's like the confidence that he would gain from that game, you better watch out in the second half because this guy's going to be the NHL MVP. The two big additions for me were Boychuk and Letty. You feel that in the locker room. When your GM makes a commitment to the team and says, listen, we're going to go you know, add pieces because we feel like this is a team that can be competitive and, and do some stuff in the playoffs, you feel that in the locker room. And I think those guys have added um, a maturity in that locker room. So, you know, when things don't go well, you have those guys that sit back there and say, listen, you know, we've done this before. We've won, um, you know, Letty won the Stanley Cup. Say, listen, relax, we'll get through it. And um, I think the team has responded well to that. Garcino's made a lot of tremendous moves. I mean, he's not in a, you know, a great position, um, you know, moving ranks. There hasn't been much, um, you know, stability as far as, you know, veterans in that organization. You know, it's been a lot of young guys. And in New York, it's so hard to, you know, to rebuild. And that's something that he's had to do. And I think now... You know, you're starting to see the fruits of his labor with, you know, Johnny Taveras, Kyle Ocposo, Travis Hamannick, Matt Martin, all these guys that have come through the system. And I think the big thing for the team, too, is that Garth's had patience with Jack Capuano, the coach. So you're having a young team grow with a, a young coach. And I think in that locker room now, the coach trusts the players and the players trust the coach. I would say that if you went to, you know, seven other GMs in the Eastern Conference and said, you know, would you look forward to playing the Islanders? They'd all say no because, I mean, they're young, they're excited, um, they've had solid goaltending, and the one thing that I do really love about that team is their defense, um, their mobility, and the team can skate. I mean, they, they shut down fast teams, and um, that's going to go a long way in the playoffs because you know in the playoffs you're going to have a hard time scoring goals. So if this team can, you know, really lock it down in their defensive zone, they've shown they can score, so it'll be fun to watch.